Hello, my sisters. Hello, my brothers. Welcome. Welcome to HSBN, Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network. Amen. Where the word of God is being preached in many countries and nations right here. Amen. Our Father, hallelujah, have many platforms and many ministries that he's using in order to allow his word to go forth out into the world, all over the world. Amen. The word of God says that the, 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 uh, that the word, the gospel must be preached into all over the world before Jesus can return. Amen. And God is using his body. His body is big. Amen. Amen. In Jesus name to, to, so in order so we can reach the broken hearted, amen, the lost, amen, the forgotten, all those that think they have been forgotten, they're not forgotten in the name of Jesus. Jesus loves, he loves each and every one of them, just like he loved us when we was lost out there, right? in our sins, doing all kinds of things. We weren't even thinking about God. Ah, but God had you in mind. You was on his mind. I was on his mind. Amen. And I thank you, Father. I thank you for having me on your mind. It's nothing like, amen, God having you on his mind. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Well, I am Janice Pert Cross. <laughs> I am a friend of God's and a messenger of Jesus Christ. And you are on fighting the battle God's way, soldier. Hallelujah. God bless each and every one of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you don't mind, before we go on, I'm going to say a quick prayer in Jesus name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray and desire that your sons and daughters might be filled with the knowledge of your will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that they may walk worthy of the Lord. They may walk worthy of you, Father God, unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and everything that you go to do. In the name of Jesus, everything that your hand touch, being fruitful. Hallelujah. Unto God. Hallelujah. And increasing in the knowledge of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, strengthen, strengthen your children, God, with all might, according to your glorious power, <laughs> your supernatural power, your dominous power. Hallelujah. Strengthen them, God. Strengthen me, Father, in the name of Jesus, so we can, hallelujah, stand in this wicked world in the name of Jesus unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Amen. It's nothing like standing when you, when, when you have joy. <laughs> Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, giving thanks, giving thanks unto our Father, which has made us meek to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints and light and truth. Hallelujah. Vessel of honor, not a vessel of dishonor. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Father God. We thank you for strengthening us, God, allowing us to stand. In the name of Jesus, stand in you. And it's not so much when God talks about us standing, it's not so much about us standing on our feet, but standing in our mind. Hallelujah. Not wavering back and forth in the name of Jesus, but knowing who our God is, knowing that your father loves you, knowing that he's with you. Hallelujah. When, when, when your circumstances don't look like it, when your circumstances are not saying that he's with you, you know to know to know, hallelujah, that he is. Hallelujah. Because he hadn't brought, 
He didn't bring you this far to leave you now. Not now. Hallelujah. Why didn't he just leave us where we was at, if that's the case? Hallelujah. What kind of God would he be? Hallelujah. Listen, if he didn't leave the children of Israel, if he didn't kill them off in the desert, amen? And I know some of you saying he killed off some of them, yes, but he didn't kill off all of them, amen? The ones that didn't have faith, the ones that kept complaining, amen? But the rest of them, they got a chance, amen? You got a chance, I got a chance, amen, to get up. In the name of Jesus and to serve our Father in the holiness and righteousness and spirit and in truth. That's his word. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray. Father God, if someone's not saved today, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray that they would pray Romans 10 and 9. For your word says, God, that if they confess Jesus, that, that he is Lord <laughs> and believe in their heart that God raised him from the dead, they shall be saved. If you confess that today, welcome, my sister, welcome, my brother, into the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Excuse me. I am so sorry. The devil is a liar. He's really been like, right? And I've been laying hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And glory be to God. It was like so bad this morning. The devil kept putting things in my mind like, should you go? Maybe you shouldn't go. It's, you know, and I just kept doing what I was doing. I kept getting, preparing, and I ironed my clothes. And I just said, Lord, if it's your will for me to go, then I'm going to go. And I'm burping, and I'm just, right, hurting, and but I'm pressing. I'm making my way. I thought about my grandmother. Oh, somebody know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, our grandparents, whoo, they knew how to press. Oh, they pressed their way to church. Yes, they did. Uh, they said, I just need to get to the house of God. Because once I get there, I know I'm going to get healed. I know I'm going to get delivered. So I just pressed my way today in Jesus' name. So the devil just trying to stick his head up. It's okay. It's okay. Just forgive me. Hallelujah. But the word of God will go forth in the name of Jesus. Our title today is God considered you. <laughs> God considered you because you refused to bow down to the enemy. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, you know who I'm talking about. Oh, yes. You, that's right. You, my sister, you, my brother, you've been in this thing a long time. And some of you just came in, but it's okay. Because since you've been in, you haven't bowed down. You haven't looked back. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. You haven't looked back in your mind. You haven't gone back with your feet. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. But I want you to know that everything you're going through, everything you've been going through, it's because God considered you. Hallelujah. Our scripture for today is Job. Amen. Oh, y'all know about Job, right? Oh, yeah. We're going to learn some more things about Job. Job 1, 7 and 8. This is our scripture for today. Amen. You know, I'm so excited. I am. So, yes, I did. I did. Okay. Amen. Look, I'm just excited. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me. I am. Okay. And the Lord said unto Satan, <clears throat> excuse me. This is what the Lord said to Satan concerning you. <laughs> the Lord says, Hence cometh thou. Where are you coming from? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. All right? Number eight. Okay. This is what the Lord 
tell Satan about you. And the Lord said to Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? Hallelujah. Now Satan wasn't even thinking about Job. Satan wasn't even thinking about you. The Lord said, and I want you to put your name in it this time. Have you considered my servant? That's right, you. Now, the enemy done locked. He done locked in on you. Wasn't even thinking about you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. How thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth. Hallelujah. There's only one of you, my sister. There's only one of you, my brother. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do it like you in the name of Jesus. Yes, they can do it, but not like you. Hallelujah. A perfect and upright man. Hallelujah. One that fear God and, and shun evil. That's what the word of God says. That's what the word of God says. Hallelujah. Talking about you, my sister. You fear God. You love God. You have a reference for God. You, my brother, you fear God. You love God. You have a reference for God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The word of God tells us that Job was the richest man during his time. Amen. And that he was a servant of God. He was God's servant. He was called by God, chosen by God. Haven't you been called and chosen by God? Oh, yes, you have. <laughs> That's why you in the army of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> there was no man like him on earth, the word of God says. Wow. Wow. The word of God tells us that he is a perfect and upright man. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Can you picture that kind of man? Can you picture that kind of woman? Listen, when somebody think about you, is that the picture they have in their mind when they think about you, my sister, my brother? Hallelujah. When your name come up in a conversation, even if they don't tell the people that they're talking to, do they get a warm feeling in their heart? Like, my sister, my brother really love God. I, listen, I can feel the love of God every time I come into their presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, they don't try to hurt nobody. If they can't help you, they're not going to hurt you. Hallelujah. And if they can help you, they're going to help you. In the name of Jesus. Sound like to me, he has some good qualities about himself. Amen. Sound like to me, my sister, my brother, you have some good qualities about you. That's why. Amen. The enemy is attacking you. That's why the enemy is after you. Hallelujah. What is he after? Amen. When we think about Job, the word of God said that Job had integrity. Amen. Listen. The way the Bible was describing him sound like he had some integrity to me. 
Hallelujah. What's integrity? The quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Amen. Do that sound like you, my sister? I bet it do. Do that sound like you, my brother? I bet it does. <laughs> Hallelujah. Moral uprightness. In other words, hallelujah, he had a moral conviction. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You have moral conviction. You can't do what everybody else does. You can't say what everybody else say. Hallelujah. You can't go where everybody else can go because of your convictions. Listen, and we all have our own convictions in the name of Jesus. When people telling you, oh, it don't take all that. Oh, you not bowing down. You won't bow down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You continue to be you. You continue to hold on to your morals and your standards for God, your high standards, hallelujah, for God. Because you want to be that vessel of honor, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Not bowing down to the lies of the enemy. Glory be to God. Doing the right thing in all circumstances. Even when no one is watching, you know, it's easy. Hallelujah. Amen. When nobody's watching us, it's easy to do things. It's easy to lie when nobody's watching us. Phone ring. Hello. Oh, Nisi. No, she's not here. She don't live here. <laughs> nobody's watching me. Oh, but they are. My father is. Amen. Glory. It's easy to tell the kids. Oh, tell them I'm not home. When nobody's watching. No. In the name of Jesus, we are standing on God's morals. We're representing Christ the best way we know how. We're no longer that person that we used to be. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We're walking in integrity now. Hallelujah. Before we didn't even know how to say the word. Let's know, live it in the name of Jesus. The definition of it. What? What? Hallelujah. Amen. Even when no one is watching, having integrity means you are true to you. You're true to yourself. And you will do nothing that, deme that demeans or dishonor you. <clears throat> me having integrity means that I'm true to me. Amen. First and foremost, because if I can't be true to myself, it don't matter if I'm trying to be true to you. If I can't be true to myself, I can't even be true to God. Hallelujah. Because I have to first, I have to be the first one to confess my faults, my mistakes. Amen. My shortcomings. And it's okay for us to be able to do that in the name of Jesus. When you have integrity, integrity, well, you can't have integrity and not do it. We cannot have integrity and not uh, admit to some things that we know that we said and what we've done. Just lying all the time. Amen. Stealing all the time. Taking stuff that we know that don't belong to us. That's not integrity. It says, when you're true to yourself, you will do nothing that will dem demean you or dishonor you. I don't want to dishonor me, make myself look bad. 
Because when I make myself look bad, I make my father look bad. Hallelujah. Because the first thing somebody going to say, I thought she was sad. She's stealing. What? She's stealing? I thought she was saved. What? She talking about people like that? I thought she was saved. I'm just telling you. Satan accusations against Job was the accusation Satan made against Job to God was he only loved you because you have given him so much. He only loves you because your hand of protection is on his life. Hallelujah. But we know Satan is a liar. What haven't he said about you? What haven't he said about me? He's a liar. And every time he opens his mouth up against you, God proves him wrong in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> After losing everything, Job lost his home, his children, his cattle, his, his servants. Job did not curse God. And that's what Satan said. He said, oh, if you take these things from him, and let me touch them. Let me take them from him. He going to curse you in your faith. But God knew better. God said, you're right. And Job did the opposite. <laughs> he did not curse God. He did not even accuse God. Hallelujah. Job 121 said, Job said, naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return hither. The Lord give and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What are we saying when we're going through our trials and tribulations, when we're losing everything, when we're losing Hallelujah. Some of us have lost some losses. I know I have in my life. Oh, it felt like my inside was coming out. It felt like I wanted to die. Hallelujah. But we didn't bow down. We didn't curse our God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And all of this, the word of God says in all of this, 22, everything that Job went through, everything that he suffered, everything that he felt in his body, it said, in all of this, Job sin not, nor charge God fall foolishly. He did not foolishly go before his God and start saying whatever. <laughs> may come out, out of our mouths, which cause us to look foolish in God's eyes. Hallelujah. But he held on to his integrity. You're holding on to your integrity. Although Satan, Satan got into his wife. And she said, Job 2 and 9, then said his wife unto him, do it thou still? Do you still <laughs> retain, hold on to your integrity? Curse God and die. What is people telling you in this situation you're going through? What are they telling you? Stop going to church. Stop praying. Stop paying your tithe. They're foolish. Hallelujah. God if, if there was a God, this wouldn't happen and that wouldn't happen. Don't listen to them. Don't bow down to the lies of the enemy. Your father is still with you. Hallelujah. He still loves you. Satan couldn't kill you. He couldn't take you out. You might have caught the virus, but you're still here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, you might have felt like you wanted to die. You're still in your right mind. 
you're still going strong for the Lord. Hallelujah. Pressing day, every day, every day to be who God has called you to be, to do what God has called you to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan tried to make Job think he was after his children, after his things. Satan wasn't really after those things. Job had four qualities about him that Satan wanted. The first one was his integrity. Job 1 and 1, Satan wants your integrity. He don't want you to have that relationship with God. No, he wants you to be double-minded. The second thing, he was after Job's influence. He wants your influence. Once he can make you look bad in people's eyes, it affects your influence. Job 129. The third thing Satan was after, and he's after on you and me, he's after your intercessor. Satan know your intercessor. He know your prayers reach heaven. Hallelujah. So if he can contaminate your heart, towards others. There go the prayer. It ain't reaching heaven. It's, it's ineffective. Increase so you can no longer help someone. Satan is after integrity and influence. Influence is when you, influence is what you have with people. Integrity is what you have with God. <laughs> influence when you talk, and encourage people about God, they listen. It's your integrity, is your personal life and walk with God. That's what your integrity is. My sister, my brother, don't bow down to the lies of the enemy. Hold on to your integrity. Hold on to the relationship you have with your God. Your integrity allow people to see God in you. They know that God is with you. He's fighting your battles. He's for you, my sister, my brother. Stand strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God bless you.